they fought wars for India, but now they are fighting another battle. War veterans say they are being refused war injury pension. Zafar Iqbal reports on whether the war veterans, those who won wars for India, are being defeated by the system. He lost his toes to frostbite while capturing India's highest picket near the Siachen Glacier on the Saltoro Range in the 1971 war. But since his retirement 18 years ago, Brigadier S.S. Aluwalia, a Veer Chakra awardee, is fighting a different battle. With Madam Prime Minister a war casualty, he was refused war injury pension on the grounds that he voluntarily retired from service four months before the actual date of retirement and so was ineligible, though courts had already ruled that disability benefits cannot be refused to voluntary retirees. He filed his case at the Armed Forces Tribunal in 2010 after Army Headquarters and the Defence Ministry repeatedly turned down his appeals. Finally, the Tribunal directed the government to release his war injury pension. Not to be outdone, the Ministry of Defence appealed in the Supreme Court. That appeal was dismissed. They posted me at the end of my service, more or less, to JNK as Deputy GOC of 25 days, where you all the election is these days. Those days also, there's a hot situation for the insurgency. Now, I represented against it and said, I'm, my feet are not, uh, you know, not uh, with me now. I find it very aggravated situation. And mine is a cold injury. Why have you posted me to you? So after an interview with the MS branch, Army headquarters, they said you can take premature retirement. That's the advice it told me. Because you'll have to do a tenure in high altitude too. Not high altitude, cold areas in region. I said, against medical advice, they said we can't help you. Brigadier Aluwalia is hardly alone in his battle. Between 2014 and this year, 1,000 appeals made by the Defence Ministry to various courts have been rejected. An expert panel formed in 2015 said, the last few years have seen the litigation initiated by the Defence Ministry soar to unprecedented levels. Besides causing heartburn amongst employees, former employees and their families, such heavy influx of litigation has clogged the resources of the government, leading to a shift of focus from core areas of responsibility to the handling of proceedings in various courts and tribunals all over the country. Despite the report and its abysmal success rate in courts, the government didn't withdraw all appeals. In a letter to the Rajya Sabha MP Rajiv Chandrasekhar, the Defence Minister last year wrote, at present there is no proposal to withdraw pending appeals in the Supreme Court. Such a thing happens, you feel totally devastated. Okay, what for did he do? He sacrificed his youth. You see, he was just 26 years old, unmarried man, when he became disabled. And how is the... Uh, the people in the hierarchy treating him. So naturally he needs to be treated with honour, dignity. The question is that when an officer of this level gets this treatment, what would be the fate of all those soldiers who are living in far-flung areas and do not have the resources or contacts to pursue their cases? In Chandigarh, Zafar Iqbal for NDTV.